it going? Fox here again for Sound Design Tutorials. That was a quick preview of the uh, sound we're going to be making today. It's the bass line patch you could hear in the background. It's a deep house bass again with the Access Flores TI. I wanted to show you how you can make an analog sound in, uh, analog sound in bass without using any a typical analog waveforms. I've got a format simple waveform, one of the classic ones which is really gritty and another one which is Wave 22. None of these are uh, analog sounding at all. The way I've managed to get it sounding analog is with uh, modulation and the effects. So yeah, I'll show you the sound on its own quick just so you can uh, listen to what we're aiming for. There it is, really deep, uh, deep house bass this one. So yeah, I'll uh, create a new patch so I can show you how I made it. Oscillator 1, as I said, is a four-month simple waveform. And the one I chose was Overbones. This is what it sounds like on its own. really high pitched and highly audible where you get the uh, the deep sound with this is this four man shift you drag it all the way to the left but I'll pitch it down one octave first minus twelve you, you'll hear as I pull this four man shift to the left it really makes it deep and phasey I had it on sixty Oscillator 2, I kept on classic, pulled it all the way to the left to assign, click on this box, and I chose wave 43. Pulled this one down two octaves, minus 24. Kept detune where it was. I used a bit of uh, FM for these two oscillators. I kept it on pause triangle, and I pushed it up to about as near to a third as you can it always sounds better 33.3 33.6 I think you can get that's as close as you can get with FM without oscillator 3 is wave 21 down one octave Kept the detune of oscillator 3 where it is as standard. Set unison to twin, detune to about 31, pan spread to about 40%. Just push the oscillator 1 2 balance slightly leaning towards the one side. To the filter section now. I kept both the filters as a low pass as it was standard. I pulled the cutoff of the first one down to 41. Cut off of the second one to plus 6 decibels. I didn't use any saturation. I didn't mess around with the routing of the filters. I just kept it out. It was nice and easy. I used quite a lot of envelope amount to open the filter up. So it's just in line with the T. Make sure the cutoff link and the filter link are both checked. So yeah, we'll set up the filter envelope now. Just copy this if you want to make this sound exactly. Just a nice snappy quick release of the uh, for the envelope. I'll set envelope free up now as well because you use that for a bit of modulation later on. For the attack for that, I'll push around to about 2 o'clock. Decay to about 3 o'clock. Sustain. About two o'clock, slope all the way around to negative, and a tiny bit of release to about six o'clock. Amplitude sec amplifier envelope, push the attack off ever so slightly just to stop any clicking when it re triggers. Pull sustain level down a tad, tiny little real bit of release again, same as the uh, filter envelope three. So, yeah. <laughs> we 
We've set the LFO up now. That's going to do uh, the bit of movement that we want. I used LFO 3 for this because it's got this fade-in function, which means that it's almost a delay of the, uh, the LFO coming into the sound. So I pushed the fade-in round to about 11 o'clock, checked it to mono, turned it to sine wave, changed it to 1 over 4. You're not going to hear it do anything in a minute because it's not been assigned to anything, but we'll, we'll go into the matrix section next and then we'll... Uh, tell it what we want it to do. So, in the matrix section, you use slot 4, you can use any one you want. LF, LFO3 bipolar, which means it's, you've got positive and negative modulation. I used it for filter 1 cutoff. And filter 2 cutoff. Set them to both to the same amount. It was about negative seven, negative eight, something like that. You can hear the modulation coming in towards the end of the longer notes now. So the only other thing I did in the, mod in the matrix section, I set envelope three, which we set up to earlier, to modulate a filter bank frequency. Now, we haven't done anything with this yet, but we'll go over it in the FX section later on. Filter bank frequency. This is going to be a vowel filter. And I'll set it to about there, about negative 15. So, yeah, that's it for the ma uh, matrix section. FX1 we'll go into now. Push the analog boost round to about 2 o'clock. I used classic chorus. Push it round to about 11 o'clock. No delay, no feedback, nothing else, just that. Distortion I used was Saffron Overdrive. This is a real nice one for basses. Pull the mix back to about 2. And the drive round to about 11 o'clock. Give it a bit of a high cut to about 10 o'clock. Bit of EQ and I'll boost the lows round to about plus 7 and the mids about plus four. Valve filter I used as I said this is what we're controlling in the uh, matrix section. Filter bank fre frequency corresponds to this, this valve here. That means that envelope because I did it negative in the matrix section that envelope is going to close this dial back to the left over the time that we wanted it to. So yeah set the valve to about 39% Resonance round to about two o'clock. This is resonance is almost like the volume of this valve. And so, and pull the mix back to about 10, 11 o'clock. That's with the valve filter, without. Gives it a bit more, bit more grit at the start of the note. It's a real good tip that is for a valve filter. So, yeah, FX1 is done. Only FX2 now. All I did for this, this is another really neat trick. If you use a delay, set it to whatever you want. I used ping pong 4 over 1, I think, for this. Set the clock. No, I didn't actually. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll keep it on simple delay, then I'll set the clock to 1 over 64. This is a very, very fast delay, so hardly inaudible. It's almost like putting a chorus on something. It just helps thicken the sound up. So I push the feedback round to about 30%. So, yeah. I set, must have set the uh, clock to 164 before I changed it to ping pong. I don't really think it matters what sort of delay you have on when you're doing this because it's, it's that fast, you can't really hear it. It's just, I say, it just helps thicken the sound up. So, yeah, that's it. Sound done. Nice and easy, really. Bit of mo modulation in the matrix, nothing too stressful. I'll bounce this down to audio, to, uh, which is what you have to do with the virus anyway. So, I'll just mute that patch, turn that back on, turn the drums on little beat that I made.
Modulation on the not modulation, bit of processing on the uh, one that I bounced down. Nothing really. Tiny little bit of a boost in EQ, a bit of compression to bring ev everything out, and a side chain compression to the kick just to help uh, accentuate that LFO sort of wobble we got. <laughs> analog sounding deep house bass with a virus ti as always make sure you subscribe if you've enjoyed this video um, there's plenty more videos on my youtube page which is mr mfox 22 facebook and google plus again is sound design tutorials thanks again for watching Cheers.